What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today we're going to be counting down my favorite trucks from the 2019 Monster Jam Tour Line. This is going to be the top 10 trucks, in my opinion, for 2019. So basically every single truck for 2019 has been released and we have every single truck, all the play sets, all the uh, doubles, all the singles, all the special editions. The only truck we don't have for 2019 is the 1 of 1000 Gravedigger, which, okay, yeah, it's going to be a challenge to get that, so no big deal. But yeah, this Gravedigger right here, it's kind of just sitting here chilling. But um, yeah, so we got my favorite trucks here the top 10 in my opinion which i think are the best but since there were so many trucks this year it is pretty difficult to pick only 10 so i'm gonna bring out two right now which are gonna miss the top 10 but barely because i really wanted to put these in there but it was kind of difficult so with that being said the first one is gonna be the nomad avenger the world finals one this one was really cool i really like this it was really cool to see this come out and get released. I do wish it did have the sponsors on the hood and the roof and all that. But yeah, this one's just barely going to miss a top 10. And the other truck that is going to miss a top 10, sadly, and I know a lot of you guys might be like, whoa, what? Is Big Kahuna. So yeah, Big Kahuna is going to miss out. Um, I like this truck. I think it looks really cool. This is currently the one from the double packs, which I think looks a lot better than the single uh, version of it but compared to all the other trucks very very difficult to pick only 10 so yeah I kind of wanted to make a couple rules I didn't want to flood my top 10 with grave digger so I only picked uh, a couple <laughs> maybe but um yeah really difficult so with that being said let's start the list at truck number 10 all right so truck number 10 it was a truck that was recently released it was in the doubles and I've been waiting all year to finally get an upgrade of this truck. And I'm really glad that Spin Master did an amazing job on this thing. And it looks amazing. It looks identical to how the truck looks in real life. And that's none other than Scooby-Doo. So I picked Scooby-Doo as number 10 because the casting on it, the tail on it, this thing looks amazing compared to the Hot Wheels version of it. Also, one thing I like what they did with the Scooby-Doo truck was the BKT the white print on the tires hopefully this is going to be something of a trend on 2020 trucks I think it's confirmed to be the legacy trucks not too sure on that but pretty cool I love the ears on it I really love what they did did with the tail and even the um collar here looks amazing as well really cool truck really glad to see it's done you know just right and the only thing that really kind of I guess stunk about this was we had to wait all the way until like the end of the year to finally get a scooby-doo truck but it was well worth it the casting's amazing and it just looks really cool so yeah truck number 10 so truck number nine was kind of a soft spot for me when i heard it was gonna get released i was like oh my god cool dude this is gonna bring back tons of memories and that's none other than jurassic attack so we only saw a Jurassic Attack once this year. It was in the Mix 5. There is apparently a variant with the white beak. I haven't seen it. But to see Jurassic Attack come back out of nowhere when I'm pretty sure the truck is retired is pretty cool. You know, growing up watching this thing on like Monster Jam and, you know, TNN and all that. Or Inside Monster Jam at the time it was called. Really cool. Um, obviously, the truck changed a lot. But just the fact that we got it by a toy company that... You know did it right the truck doesn't look awkward or anything like that really really cool so really cool that jurassic attack made a comeback and another cool thing with this truck too it will be in the mix nine which is the first mix for 2020 and i think it's a nitro neons it has uh yellow rims and blue tires so i cannot wait to see that one as well moving on to truck number eight all right so truck number eight i think it will be the first special edition truck that Spin Master released. 
Um, it's really cool because I didn't expect this, but a couple of people kind of had a feeling it was coming. Now, obviously, I haven't collected trucks in a long time, so I wasn't even aware that this was a thing. But really cool, and it's going to have to be the Monster Jam World Finals 20 Special Edition truck. This thing is awesome. Um, obviously, it was in Orlando, Florida, and the colors on this truck, everything on it makes it pop. I love the gold rims. You know, the color tire on it, that charcoal grayish, whatever you want to call it, with the sunset and the trees and, you know, a, a real big stepping stone because a lot of people weren't sure if, you know, Spin Master would continue making a special truck for the World Finals. And like I said, I had no clue because I've been, you know, out of collecting these things for a while. But really cool that Spin Master picked it up. I think it sets a stone that... You know, it's Spin Master's first World Finals, and they did it with a truck that, you know, it looks amazing. It looks awesome. It was cool when it first got released. Um, they even built, you know, the real-life truck at the show itself. But all over or all around, this thing's really cool. I love the purple on it. Really, um, it was a tough decision between this and the glow-in-the-dark Pirate's Curse. But when you really look at it, you know, you want to take something that's, you know, it's special. It's Spin Master's first, like, stepping stone into saying, like, a special edition truck. So, yeah, with that being said, let's move on to truck number seven. All right, so truck number seven. This was, when I saw this, it was really, really cool. Um, I won't forget, um, <laughs> you know, I, when I work and I drive around and I drive the van and all that, um, or the company truck, you know, I always watch uh, Monster Jam most of these videos, and I think it was him that it probably most likely was, him posting the first renders of this truck. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, dude, this is much, way much, like, a thousand times better than its counterpart, and that is none other than Ice Grave Digger. So, Ice Grave Digger, in the uh, render shots, this thing looked amazing. This thing does look amazing. I love the detail on this truck, how, you know, the snow covered tombstones, you know, all that. You know, they got the full wrapping on the grill. I mean, when this thing was on the render, it was automatically my favorite grave digger up until, you know, later on. But, um, really cool looking truck. I love the ice version a lot more than the fire. Um, reason being, I don't know, I mean... Looking at the truck as a whole, you know, with that chassis and those rims and, you know, the tires, the blue looks better, but if it had a black chassis with the normal tires and, like, you know, the blue B-locks, then it's kind of different with both trucks, but I really like Spin Master's edition of the Ice Grave Digger. Really cool looking, really mean looking. I really love they left the headlights red, and this thing's just really, really cool. Like, th this is one of those trucks that, like, I had to get no matter what. And I actually ended up getting, um, because this thing was pretty rare to find. And every time I did see it in Walmart, it was gone. So every time I saw it, I actually picked up quite a bit of them. I think I actually have about six or seven extra ones, just in case. And this is actually the only one I have open right now. So, really cool truck. Definitely at one point in time, my favorite grave digger of the year. So now we are on to truck number six. So, truck number six, um, yeah, <laughs> kind of difficult. I mean, I wanted to get one of these in here because it is a chase piece, and my honest opinion, this is the best looking one. Uh, the zombie one, the way it flows with the colors, you know, the blood red, that charcoal dark gray, uh, the charcoal chrome rims, all around this thing looks mean, it looks awesome. I love the little zombie on the hood. It was pretty tough to pick this over the Gravedigger training truck, but honestly, I really do think the zombie one looks a lot better. Honestly, I can really pick any one for truck number six, but my normal instinct is just to go with the zombie one. I really like the way it looks. Um, Spin Master having their own chase pieces. Unique idea. Um, I can't remember if Hot Wheels had it. Sorry. You know, it's been a while. I haven't really looked. At Hot Wheels <laughs> trucks or my old trucks because the last time I collect any Hot Wheels Monster Jam was back in like 2006 so it's been a while <laughs> but um 
yeah, really cool looking truck. Definitely the best training truck in my opinion. And I cannot wait to see the ride trucks for next year. We all know Gravedigger is the first one, but I can't wait to see who else they do with the ride trucks that are going to replace these for next year. So now, let's crack into the top five. All right, so starting off the top five of the best trucks in 2019 for Spin Master's first year, this this truck just, I guess, well, this truck just got released basically within the past couple weeks, and you know, I'm not a huge fan of Son of a Digger, but um, I really, really like the way this truck looks. So, honest opinion, this is the best Nitro Neons in the entire, like, I guess, thing. <laughs> of nitro neons this year this thing flows really nice i love the rims i love the blue i love how they fixed up the truck to make it actually look like the real life truck with the headlights um the flames really well put together this thing looks mean everything flows with it and this is a truck that's done absolutely right if you compare this to the other son of a diggers it completely blows it out of the water for this year i really like this truck um it's just really cool looking. It really, really is. It's one of those things that like I can't stop looking at it when you see it. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is about that truck, but it's definitely good enough to crack the top five. And honestly, when I was going through all the trucks and trying to pick the best ones and stuff like that, this one always ended up in the top five. It was, it had to be somewhere in there. But yeah, really cool truck, really awesome looking. And yeah, let's move on to number four. All right, so number four, we saw a ton of this truck this year get released ever since Mix 1 all the way up to the last, what's the last pack of the doubles? Well, maybe the second to last. We saw it in Nitro Neons. So, yeah, there, there was definitely a lot of these to choose from, but this one, hands down, and a lot of you guys might agree with me, is the best looking one, Max D. So, this thing looks amazing i love the way they did this and once again this is one of those cases where like you know just rims tires and the chassis and you know the right roll cage gets it just right so they finally added the 12 time champion logo on the top of this and they also added you know the bkt on the tires the orange b lock and this thing it, it's it actually looks like the real life max d monster truck you know um it's awesome it's really really good this had to be in my top five um just because how realistic it looks you you put this you know on the tire of the actual max d truck and it's very very similar and it's really cool that they went away the and they actually ended up doing this and making this truck look realistic and you know max d went through a couple changes this year not as many as gravedigger did but i really really hope next year like how we saw with the Gravedigger 5-pack this year, we see maybe like a Max D 5-pack or maybe even like an Avenger 5-pack where it goes back and for at least Max D, you know, it can go back to like Team Mint because I know they can't use Goldberg because the whole WCW thing, but that would be kind of cool. But I'm really, really glad they finally made a Max D that looks just like the actual truck and they even updated the logo too after uh, Tom Mintz won that championship. So really cool really awesome let's go into the top three all right so very very tough decision for the uh the top three trucks here so this first truck uh truck number three i was waiting for it, um because you know obviously it is spin master's flagship truck <laughs> and you know for a while i didn't know when it was going to come out i didn't know if they were going to make it this year because the truck is kind of awkward to make and a weird casting so I was kind of really waiting for this to get released and then it finally got released in mix 5 Dragonoid I love the way they uh, made this truck now they could have just left it alone and had it like a solid casting but what sets it apart besides I think it was wildfire I really love the added details they did with the horn how it can move you know the arms can move and you can actually move the wings but I wouldn't really you know force them to move because you could break it but really cool tooling on this truck, really cool casting. Um, obviously, there was no Dragonoid before Spin Master, but you know, I'm glad to see they took the time on this truck alone because this is like their mascot. 
So like pretty cool. I was really excited to see this. And around the same time that I actually ended up picking up one of these, I actually went to the show in New Jersey. I think it was about maybe a month after the show or a couple weeks after the show. I can't really remember. And I got to see the truck in person first. And then when I got to see the toy, it was really cool because it was just like the truck. Really awesome. Definitely one of my favorites. Definitely in the top three. This had to be in the top three. And I'm sure for a lot of people, this will probably be in the top three for you guys as well. Really cool truck. And this thing is still pretty hard to find. Um, this is one of those trucks that on eBay, it still goes for about maybe if you're lucky, like 10 bucks, 10 to 15 bucks. So pretty cool. Love the truck. And now let's go on to the final two. All right. So these final two trucks, it was a really, really, really tough decision. Um, yeah. So number two is going to be none other than this one right here, the Gravedigger from the 1990s. So kind of a mixed review I guess on this one because a lot of people it could be 96 it could be 95 it could be 97 um one thing that I didn't like about the truck was the green flames up here I guess they just wanted something to uh take up that space maybe I don't know I don't remember ever seeing a grave digger when I was younger with flames up on the side over here or on the roof but this thing brings back a ton of memories uh Obviously, I was a diehard monster truck fan growing up. Bigfoot was my all-time favorite truck. And, you know, back in the late 90s, kind of mid-90s, the big rivalry was Gravedigger and Bigfoot. And seeing this truck and seeing that Spin Master went with the old 90s kind of like tires going on here. You know, they got the full flame wrapping on this. You got the whole ghost and everything before the purple was added. And then you have the Grave Digger on, you know, it's not out long ways. You know, it's spelt like that and everything. It's just awesome. It, it is, you know, if I had this, like, back in 1997 or 1998, that would have been mind-blowing at that time. And when that five-pack Grave Digger retro set got released, dude, it was insane. I was looking everywhere for one for a solid, like, month <laughs> until I finally just said, screw it, and I'm going to order it from Target.com. But really, really cool. I'm really happy they did this. Um, for older fans like me and stuff like that, just getting back into Monster Jam. And now that my son's getting into it and everything, really, really cool to see a gravedigger from my past, at least growing up, you know, going to like Wall Stadium or Thunder on the Beach in Wildwood and like Raceway, Raceway Park, you know, English Town and all that. Really cool to see this truck back. Really, really cool. And not only that, but back in the 90s and stuff, it was really hard to get a cool looking Gravedigger toy back then. It wasn't as easy as it is now. So really cool to finally see something like that from the past get made into something really good and made with care and made, you know, just, just like to the truck was back then. But yeah, moving on to the truck that I think is the number one truck of 2019. All right, and the best looking truck for 2019 is none other than no, I'm kidding. I can't, I can't stand that thing. But uh, yeah, it's this right here. So um, the Grandma Gravedigger. So this is awesome. When I first started watching Monster Jux, um, one of the first things I ever did when I was younger, I used to go to Blockbuster and I used to go to video stores and there used to be like VHS tapes <laughs> of Monster Trucks you can buy. And it was all stuff from like the 80s, um, early 80s, late 80s, stuff like that set to like, you know, 80s rock and stuff like that. And just monster trucks jumping over um, cars and crashing and everything. And this was the Grave Digger you always saw. So really, really cool that Spin Master went back in time and not only brought this truck into a toy farm or toy form, and stuff but they changed their whole chassis layout they changed their motor layout they they went so far to make this thing look just like the real truck did it's insane it is really insane so for the younger people that don't really know how grades are used to look it's really cool that you know they came out with a five pack to like give to give like a history of grave digger and how it was started and formed and everything and you know the the 
silver and blue body one, yeah, that's kind of cool. But the one when you say Grave Digger, it is so hard not to think of like the flame paint job or the spooky paint job or whatever. And you know, I'm really happy they got the rim choice right. I'm really happy they did it with the older tires. Just this thing all around is just awesome, dude. And uh, now, obviously, it being December, this Grave Digger 5 pack is everywhere. And, well, not everywhere, but everywhere at Target's. Um, really cool. I'm really excited that they made it. I mean, honestly, hands down, it was going to be really tough to choose my favorite truck. And I think a lot of people will agree with me with this being the best truck. Just because it shows that, you know, Spin Master could have just took an old casting of Grave Digger like this one right here. And just basically made it look like Grandma Grave Digger. You know, but the time that they actually put into it and the fact that they made a five pack exclusive. And not just, you know, a couple trucks, but like the important trucks in Grave Digger's history is really cool. And... It's really, really cool to have the nostalgia trip. So, yeah, that being said, dude, that's going to be my uh, <laughs> top 10 trucks of 2019. I'm really excited for 2020. I don't really know how YouTube is going to handle posting videos with this whole, like, child law protection thing. But um, we'll see how it goes. And, yeah, more videos will come out. Don't worry. Somehow I'll make it happen. But, um, yeah, really cool. If you guys agree with me with these top trucks, or if you don't agree with me, or if you really honestly think this is the best truck of 2019, you know, it's your opinion. I would like to hear your opinions, what you guys thought was the best one, what you guys think, if maybe all the training trucks were the best one. But, yeah, with that being said, those are my top trucks, and I really cannot wait, you know, for 2020. I already got a nice head start with the Dragonoid 1 of 1000, and so far, Mix 9 looks kind of, mm, but that Max D in that pack looks pretty cool. But, um, yeah, let me know your favorite trucks from 2019. It's been a great year. Spin Master, you guys just keep getting better as the day goes by. And, um, yeah, it's going to wrap it up. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys don't agree with me or you think some other trucks should be in the top 10 that I left out, post them below in the comments. I would love to know what ones you guys thought were the best, the worst, the ugly, the awesome, <laughs> all that. So I'll catch you guys in another video very shortly.